Hello everyone, we're here with Taylor Cole, graduate student on the Trine women's basketball team. Taylor is a starter and a key contributor for the Thunder, who are ranked 22nd in the nation and in the hunt for the MIAA title. Taylor, welcome and thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Um, let's just start by getting to know you a little bit. How did you come to Trine and, and why did you choose Trine? Um, well, initially I had never heard of Trine, but I was recruited by the basketball coach that was here before I was a freshman. And then I came down and visited and fell in love with the campus and then came back again, watched a couple games and no other schools really compared. So that's why I decided to come here. Uh, the program has changed a lot in the four years you've been here. Um, how has the culture changed and, and what are some of the keys to the growing success here? I think we have a winning mentality now before it was just kind of going in and hoping that we didn't lose by 30 or if we lost by 30 it was a success. So we have a lot of people that have come in that want to win and that came from winning programs in high school. So just having everyone on the same page definitely helps a lot. Um, you've kind of gone from being a reserve to a real key starter for this team. What has been the, the key to your change and, and your success? Well, I think that last year when the season started, uh, Shelby Oldham was actually our starting point guard, and then she got mono. So once she was out, the coaches pulled me in and said that they wanted me to take over the starting point guard spot. And I think just when they started to have a lot more confidence in me, then I felt a lot more confident, and I was able to be more of a factor on offense, more than just being a good defender and being able to stop people on the defensive end. I think anybody who's watched you can see, you know, the high energy and, and commitment to defense um, and just high energy all over the floor. Uh, where, where does that come from and what drives that, that mentality? I think that I've always been one of the shorter, smaller, not shooters on the team. So I've had to adjust the way that I play. So being able to be the one that works the hardest on the floor has always helped me and I think that being the person that gives a lot of energy on the floor kind of carries over to everybody else, so then it helps everyone else play the same way. Uh, you were team captain this year and actually the only four-year player on the team. How have you uh, tried to embrace that and, and try to lead? I think that being on a team my freshman year that was 6-19, and 19, it helped a lot of seeing the negative side of not being a winning program and just being able to be here through the whole transition. I can kind of pull people in when they're freshmen or sophomores and they've been on a winning team here for two years or for a year and just be like, hey, you know, people have had to work for this and just kind of pull everyone's heads back in so that we're focused on the goal and not just thinking that we're unbeatable and too good to get beaten by anybody. Kind of shifting over to the academic side, you actually graduated in three years with your undergrad. What kind of brought that about and, and what motivated you to pursue that? Well, I came in with 18 credits from high school from dual enrollment and all of my credits transferred to Trine from the community college that I did my classes. So then with my double major, um, a lot of the classes can count as dual credits for both majors. And so that made it pretty easy and it just seemed like a no-brainer if I was close to try and get it done as fast as I could. Um, who are some of the people who kind of influenced you, uh, maybe professors, coaches, uh, to, to pursue that aggressive of, a, uh, of an academic program? I think initially my uh, academic advisor, Professor Milliken, was the first one that kind of drew me into working as hard as I could and getting it all done. And then Dr. Blaze has been awesome. He's my favorite professor that I've ever had. And he just kind of pushed me for going as hard as I could and preparing me for grad school with how his classes were and just getting it done as fast as I could. Uh, did you complete any internships or, or out-of-school work uh, related to your degree? Yeah, I actually did two different internships after my junior year. I did one with a school social worker in an elementary school for my psychology major, and then I worked in a law firm for my criminal justice major, too. Um, you know, it's kind of pretty unique being in grad school and, and still playing basketball. How do you balance that workload, and what's that been like? Well, all my classes are online, so that kind of helps with being able to balance practice times and class times. So a lot of days I'll come into the link and do my homework there and try and get as much done as I can so that on game days I'm not stressed about that. And right now I'm just playing basketball and doing grad school. I'm not working, so that's made it a lot easier. First semester I had a job too, so that made balancing it all a lot harder. Uh, what are your future plans for your career? That's a good question. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, I'm kind of considering law school 
kind of thinking about getting my doctorate in something, but I'll probably just work for a couple years after I get done with my master's and just settle a little bit before I go back to school again. Obviously, you still have a little bit left to go, both on the court and in the classroom. Uh, any final goals going into this final final couple months here at Trine? Win conference. We just need to win two more games, and we'll be the conference champions, I think, for the first time ever. And then uh, if we win two more games, we'll get to host the conference tournament, which last year was the first time that I even made the conference tournament, and going to Hope was just a crazy atmosphere, and it was a lot of fun. But I just think having our home fans there would be awesome so I think winning conference and then making the national tournament for the first time was definitely the team's goal and my goal as well. Uh, any final thoughts uh, going forward last couple months here? I'm um, just looking forward to finishing out the season with as many win wins as we can. We've talked about our kind of slogan the whole year has been one team one dream one ring so we're just looking forward to hopefully cutting nets and getting a, getting a ring together so. Mm -hmm.